This is how to add reactions and determine a number of things about that reaction. I'm given two half reactions. One involves lead sulfate being reduced to lead solid and sulfate. The other, lead 2 plus plus 2 electrons going to lead. And we'd like to construct a cell with the following cell reaction. All right, well, looking at what I'm given, I notice that um, I would like lead sulfate solid on the left side. So I believe my top reaction this time, that's unusual, usually it's the bottom, but this time the top reaction is going to be my cathode or my reduction. Okay, and it looks like I would like lead 2 plus to be on the other side. So my bottom reaction here is going to be my anode or my oxidation. Okay, so I will flip that. All right, so just rewriting this, so we have it all down. We have lead sulfate solid plus two electrons going to lead solid plus sulfate two minus. And this has a minus 0 0.36 volts. Okay. The other one I am going to flip, right? So we will flip that. And this one is going to be lead solid going to lead 2 plus plus 2 electrons. And technically I flipped it. So there's actually two ways you can do this. You can do this cathode minus anode, or this follows enthalpy rules. I can actually make this plus 0.13 volts, so that when I add reactions, I'm actually adding voltages. Okay, so this is minus 0.23 volts. So you can get here one of two ways. You can add the reactions, or you can take E cell equal E cathode, minus E anode, okay, which in our case, the cathode this time is minus 0 0.36, and the anode is a minus 0.13. So either way gets you to this answer of minus 0.23 volts. Okay, but let me finish adding these. There we go. All right, so we have lead sulfate solid going to lead 2 plus and sulfate 2 minus. Hmm. A solid dissolving to aqueous materials. This seems vaguely familiar to me. All right. What is the standard cell potential? I've already done that. Okay. E cell is equal to minus 0 0.23 volts. Now, usually these things are positive, but this is a non-extensive reaction. Not a great one lead sulfate dissolving, so it's understandable that E cell would actually be negative this time. Okay. What is the value of delta G naught for the reaction? Well, don't forget that delta G naught is equal to negative N F E cell. Okay. N is my moles of electrons transferred, so that's minus two moles of electrons. The Faraday constant is 96,485 joules per mole electron volt because a joule per volt is a coulomb and my voltage is minus 0.23 volts okay so my delta g naught when i clank that all into my calculator turns out to be a plus 44,383 joules per mole of reaction or plus 44 kilojoules, okay? And that should be my value for delta G naught, okay? Now the last question says, what is the equilibrium constant as determined from E cell? Now you know very well that you can take um, the equilibrium constant and take E to the negative delta G naught over RT and get it, but there's another formula that you can use using voltage. And that is K is equal to 10 raised to the N E naught divided by 
0 0.0592. So, um, in fact, a lot of times when you see 0 0.0592, it's because something has been converted from natural log to log. Okay? So, we will figure this out. This is 10 raised to the 2. That's our moles of electrons that we did. Our voltage, which is a minus 0.23. And the factor that takes it from natural log to base 10 log. And that turns out to be equal to 10 to the minus 7.77, or this k is equal to 1.7 times 10 to the minus 8. So negative voltage, positive delta g, not very great equilibrium constant. It's all consistent.